What it is, it's your boy Dutch the Damon, and you're now watching Damon Town with Dutch. On today's episode of Prison Stories Uncut, we up MCI H in that cash in old jail with it, man. Now, this situation took place over 20 some odd years ago, right? They had your boy up there in that cash room, trapped on that farm. But before I hop off in the storytelling mode, we're going to go ahead on and run the shout outs down for the people that have been supporting the channel through Cash App. First up on the list, we got the brother James Davenport. His brother show love. Brother bless the channel through Cash App. This brother watched my videos all the way from Little Rock, Arkansas, man. Appreciate you, brother. James Davenport. Next up on the list, we got the sister Kim Brinkley. Sister sent our hard earned money in. Bless the channel through Cash App. Appreciate you, sister Kim Brinkley. Definitely ain't gonna let you down. And last but not least, I wanna send a big shout out to Troy McFadden. Appreciate you, brother. Brother ain't had to send his hard earned money in. Bless the channel. Definitely ain't gonna let you down. Now that we got that out the way, let's get it. Yeah, man. So this story gonna be about two good brothers that never got a chance to meet. Now, I met Disco, I wanna say around 2009. Yeah, it was. It was around 2009. MCIH, that old jail, the castle. And I got up there, man. A lot of my own boys was up there, man. I was on the north side, D2, North Upper. But anyway, now Disco is a brother I've always heard about. Nothing but good things. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Disco from over west. Now, there's more than one brother named Disco in the Good Brothers. But I'm talking about Cat Eye Disco with the real light green eyes. My nigga, man. Now, Disco probably like 5'10", ice skin, bald head, beard like me. Now, Disco was Sir's brother, but he also had a funny sense of humor about him. Definitely a jokester. Like I say, when I got up there, man, the position that he had, he used to keep count of all the brothers when they come in the yard. Shoes, any grievances that we had within the good brothers, we had to come to him first before we go to anybody else in the chain of command. Now, Disco was a militant brother. I used to walk around the yard with him, destroy and rebuild on the history and the black liberation struggle and things of that nature. Brother was sharp. We used to just drop jewels on each other, you know what I mean? Still sharp and still. Now, it was a lot of good brothers in that old jail, probably about 200 some odd brothers at the time, right? But when that yard opened up, Disco always made it his business to holler at me. And when I got transferred out that cash room and got sent down in the city to finish my time, me and Disco would exchange numbers and shit. We can keep up contact uptown. And I heard when Disco went home, he was yamming. Him and another brother was getting a lot of smack money. We had West Baltimore on fire. Brothers linked up and got some money, man. Now, the other brother that this story is about, for video purposes, we're going to call him Greasy. Not his real name, but we're going to call him Greasy. Yeah, so I met him when I got down B Triple C. Now, this brother was cool as shit, man. I got down to triple. The brother was getting so much money, I had to put him in charge of the money. It only made sense. The brother was down there jamming in the jail. Shit, he was getting exotic shit in there. He wasn't just getting beeps like most niggas can get beeps in there. That be having movement. Most niggas that be having movement, they get some beep strips or whatever. But Shorty had beeps on deck, Big E's, Molly, g Rags, everything. And endless backup. This man was getting trash bags thrown over the wall, over the um the troll project wall down B Triple C. Because you know down B Triple C it was three walls. You had the Greenmount side wall, the Madison side street wall, and the project wall. We used to get most of our shit thrown over that project wall into the yard. He had all the motion when it came to that, right? His niggas uptown, they move when they say move. Now, when I got down there, I was I was putting the driver's seat. I had my big hat on down there. I was running the show. The brother was paying his dues and all that shit, plus looking out for all the brothers. But because I was running the show, he felt compelled to look out for me, and I wasn't even asking bro for that. Man showed me so much love, man. I'm talking about every time he sent me over, it's two or three whole cans of tobacco, a balloon full of pills for me to sell. Stack my locker up, get my locker right. Niggas really thought I was the one down there catching full time, living off the land. Bro was looking out for me. And what was so crazy about it, he slept on the south side of B Triple C, and I slept all the way over on the north side. So it was looking like he was the man on the south side, and I was the man on the north side, where he really was the man with the master plan. Even though I was in the driver's seat, he was the one getting that shit up in there. I mean, this brother made sure I had some money in my pocket to go home with. No bullshit, I still had money put in my account. From two years before I got released, fucking with bro, and be true. I went home from MCIJ. But anyway, good brother. Brother was good brother, right? So yeah, I ended up getting knocked off with the cell phone and sent in the penitentiary, right? And that's why I left the brother Greasy at. That was my last time being in the prison with him, right? Now, fast forward. Man, all I know is, man, I ain't even really gonna tell this story for real, man. Shit hurt my heart for real. Two outstanding members. The brother Disco and the brother who we're going to call Greasy 
don't know each other. Never was on those spots together. But they both been around for a while. Both been in the mix with the good brothers for a while. They both had 10 years of better under their belt and never met. That's how big the good brothers is in Maryland. You can have 10 years in, he can have 10 years in, and y'all could never meet part of the same mob. But anyway, man, all I know is, man, they say somehow, some way, both of the brothers end up on the same street. They end up having some type of road rage incident in traffic. Don't even know who each other is. They're going back and forth. Car doors open up. They both get out the car. Allegedly, they saying the brother Greasy went on here, deleted. Brother Disco, man. Blew the brother down right there on the scene and peeled off, man. I heard that shit, man. That shit crushed me, man. Because I know they would have got along if they knew each other, yo. If they would have just knew each other was on the same team, they wouldn't have done that. Rest in peace, Disco. Love you, bro.